NASA has discovered a massive hole in the sun with a diameter of 75,000 miles, which is more than the size of our planet Earth. The Solar Dynamics Observatory at NASA captured the hole on video last week. It is characterized by a magnetic field that is both intense and complex in its area. Welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Quick reminder, subscribing is free, linking the video helps YouTube suggest similar videos. Comments are loved and featured in upcoming videos. A satellite from NASA has recently seen a massive crater slowly moving over the surface of the Sun. It has all the makings of a sci-fi disaster movie. The Sun is slowly engulfed in darkness, throwing our planet into a cold, dark frenzy. However, this hole is not the reason for concern. An astronomical occurrence known as a coronal hole appears in the Sun's atmosphere from time to time. The space agency has given it the name AR-2665 and issued a warning stating that it is huge enough to emit solar flames which have the potential to interfere with GPS and communication signals. According to a statement released by NASA, a new sunspot group has rotated into view and seems to be expanding very quickly. Such sunspots are a typical occurrence on the Sun, but they are occurring less often as we go towards solar minimum. Solar minimum refers to the time of low solar activity that occurs throughout the Sun's normal approximately 11-year cycle. The Sun remains spotless for two days before the appearance of this sunspot, which is also the only sunspot group that can be seen at this time. They give the impression of being little characteristics, like freckles on the surface of the Sun. Nonetheless, size is relative. This sunspot's dark core is actually bigger than Earth. What are coronal holes? According to NASA, these holes are low-density areas where the Sun's magnetic field opens freely into interplanetary space. This allows for hot material from the corona to rush outwards into the boundaries of the solar system. As a result of this, the regions have a much lower concentration of hot plasma in comparison to the hotter and brighter surroundings, which causes them to seem black and, well, like holes. Coronal holes are the origin of a high-velocity wind of solar particles that blows out from the sun at a speed that is approximately three times faster than the wind that blows in other areas. They may make an appearance anywhere from several weeks to many months at a time and can take up as much as a fifth of the surface of the sun. What is the Solar Dynamics Observatory? Even though its initial mission life was only supposed to last for five years, the Solar Dynamics Observatory has recently finished its 10th year in orbit. The SDO has spent its entire mission in orbit observing the Sun in order to get a better understanding of space weather and how it affects life on Earth. The main objective of this mission is to inform us about the origins of the Sun's energy, the inner workings of the Sun, and the processes through which the Sun's energy is both stored and released. Recently, NASA revealed the 10 things that we have learned from the observatory's data. This list includes solar flares, tornadoes, coronal holes, and the birth and death of a solar cycle. NASA's SDO captured a picture of a new and massive hole on the surface of the Sun between May 17 and 19, the space agency revealed in a statement on Thursday. There is an old saying that suggests the moon is made of cheese owing to the crater-pocked surface of the satellite, which resembles a ball of Swiss cheese in appearance. Of course, the moon is not made of cheese, but coronal holes do appear from time to time in the sun's atmosphere. There is less material in the hole than in areas around it, even if the hole does not puncture the planet all the way through to the opposite side. A coronal hole is similar to a hole that has been drilled into the surface of the Earth. The coronal holes behave in the same way. They do not penetrate the surface of the sun, but rather appear as low-density areas inside its atmosphere, the corona. Due to the fact that it is not possible for humans to perceive these craters with their naked eyes, the moon has always been thought of as having a more cheesy appearance than the sun. It goes without saying that you should never ever gaze directly at the sun without the appropriate protection. Only in particular wavelengths of severe ultraviolet light are the coronal holes visible. When the SDO camera records this very bright light, the coronal hole appears as a dark region close to the top of the star. Because it has a much lower concentration of solar material and is thus colder than the surrounding region, the hole gives the impression of being very dark. The low density of coronal holes is another factor that contributes to solar winds that have a high speed. These streams of solar particles blast off the coronal holes about three times quicker than they do in denser regions of the sun, where there is a greater average density of solar material. When these high-speed particle explosions connect with Earth, they may destroy satellites or disrupt satellite operations, creating issues for humans on the ground. What are solar winds? Solar winds are continuous currents of charged particles and magnetic fields that are released by the Sun. These solar winds flow at a speed of around 400 kilometers per second. 
They spread over all of the planets and other things in the cosmos and flood the whole solar system. The Earth is normally shielded from these winds by both its own magnetic field and the fact that it is conveniently located in the fifth spot in the solar system. This guarantees that it is far enough away from the Sun that solar winds do not impact it, yet near enough to get enough heat from the Sun to maintain all of its life forms. However, the solar winds aren't all bad. They also create the auroras, popularly known as the northern and southern lights. In fact, a big coronal hole comparable to the one seen by SDO two weeks ago triggered a sequence of auroras on Earth in late 2015. Even if the appearance of a coronal hole on the Sun does not always predict the end of the world, it may cause a number of annoying issues here on Earth. What do researchers have to say? As a consequence of disruptions in the atmosphere of the Sun, researchers have predicted that a significant solar storm with the potential to have an effect on Earth may occur at some point. This is due to the fact that the hole was found on the surface of the Sun releases a constant bombardment of charged particles. What will happen? As a result of charged particles, there could be a little shift in the geomagnetic field that surrounds the planet, as predicted by space weather. This suggests that the current moving towards Earth might generate the aurora effect in the polar regions. As a consequence of this, there is a good chance that aurora will be seen in the sky above both the North and South Poles. According to a project coordinator at the Space Predication Center of the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the Sun has shown very little movement over the course of the previous few years. He claims that this happens more often during solar minimums, but we are now moving in the direction of solar maximums rather quickly. In the year 2025, this phenomenon will become more severe. What kind of implications does this have for humans? Researchers believe that solar storms have the potential to cause the outer environment of Earth to become too hot. This may have an effect on satellites, the GPS, the transmission of mobile phones, and satellite television transmissions. This is due to the fact that power lines are able to carry a significant amount of current which might trigger an explosion in a circuit. On the other hand, the magnetic field of the Earth acts as a barrier that prevents it from reaching us. Because of this, an explosion of this kind is very uncommon. In spite of this, the spot is big enough to be seen from Earth, and it has the potential to emit flares that might lead to radiation storms. The Solar Dynamics Observatory at NASA, which was the one who found the hole, has said that it is too early to make any predictions about the behavior of this particular sunspot despite the fact that it is really bigger than the planet Earth. That concludes today's video. We sincerely hope you have found the video entertaining. Please leave any questions or comments below. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more of our amazing videos. Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your family and friends. Goodbye.